The Democratic Party today made it clear they think they have discovered the biggest potential political star of either party to come out of Illinois since Abe Lincoln. His name is Barack Obama, and he's running for U.S. Senate. The party announced today he'll be the keynote speaker at their Boston convention. Democrats could have picked someone more famous, but the pros saw something special in Barack Obama. Barack's candidacy isn't just energizing the Democratic Party, but it's energizing people and giving them a renewed hope for politics, period. How are you? Nice to meet you. You know, they're tired of a politics of division. So it's very uplifting to see this wonderful young man who reminds so many people of their own sons and grandsons, regardless of race. Do you think the Democratic Party selected you in part because they wanted to present an African-American young rising politician? Well, I, I think that John Kerry cares a lot about diversity in the party, and I think that certainly made a difference. I also think that the manner in which we won our primary in Illinois was a hopeful sign because the conventional wisdom was that uh, I would get the black vote and then a sliver of, uh, of white vote, and instead we won in places people didn't expect us to win. In, in, suburban areas and rural areas and it indicates that people are really ready for a message for change what they want is somebody who has a positive message who has a tone in their politics that says we can disagree with the other side without being disagreeable and i think that's the kind of message that john kerry is going to be projecting at the convention during this week The uh, black caucus of delegates to the 2004 Democratic Convention had their sessions, and they invited me to speak because I was one of the candidates for president that year, and they invited Mr. Obama. And he says, I just want to explain to you, Reverend, that uh, you know I'm doing the keynote tomorrow night, and I'm probably going to be more expansive and unifying uh, than uh, a lot of people uh, uh, are used to. And I stopped him then and said, don't worry, uh, Senator, you do what you have to do tomorrow night because you have to win for the U.S. Senate. I'm going to take care of the brothers and sisters tonight. And he kind of looked at me the way he kind of looks at his head and he laughed. And I think that began a relationship where he and I understood uh, that we play different roles. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let me express my deepest gratitude for the privilege of addressing this convention. Tonight is a particular honor for me because, let's face it, my presence on this stage is pretty unlikely. When I first saw Barack Obama, I was skeptical. And my introduction to him was like very many people's introduction the 2004 Democratic National Convention where he gave the keynote speech. But I was intrigued even as I was skeptical. I stand here knowing that my story is part of the larger American story, that I owe a debt to all of those who came before me, and that in no other country on earth is my story even possible. We wanted to create a movement that inspired people to believe that we could overcome some of these really uh, great barriers in our politics, that we can overcome the cynicism. You know, I thought that this speech was going to have a galvanic effect for Obama. Didn't realize how much until I was in the room in Boston. This year, in this election, we are called to reaffirm our values and our commitments, to hold them against a hard reality, and see how we're measuring up to the legacy of our forebears and the promise of future generations. And fellow Americans, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, I say to you tonight, we have more work to do.